Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be testing some magnetic lashes and wait, let me just grab them. I have seen these all over the internet, I know that many people have tested them before but Ardell, like an actual lash brand, have launched some. Before I'd only seen them from like random companies on eBay and stuff but Ardell have actually launched their own magnetic lashes. I have three different pairs of them here and I thought it would just be really fun to test them in a video, see if they work because if they do work they are literally going to be a game changer. Also if you're wondering about my extremely vibrantly coloured jumper that says warm tones only. <laughs> this is actually my merch. If you guys haven't been watching my vlogs, I am doing vlogmas over on my second channel which is Soph Does Vlogs and I did a whole video talking about my merch so yeah if you're interested head over there although at the moment I think most of the merch is like sold out um, but it will be coming back after Christmas. If you are new here and you enjoy this video and you like me and you like my face and you like my videos then please make sure you subscribe by pressing the little button down there. Um, I would also really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up because that would help me out a lot because it, I don't know, it apparently does something good. So these eyelashes, the Magnetic Ardell lashes, um, were from falseeyelashes.co.uk and they actually sent a little thing in here that says you can get 10% off your next order using using the code LASH10. They did very kindly send these to me but it was because they posted a picture of them and I commented like oh my god these look so cool. I commented something on them just as you do on Instagram and then they actually DM'd me and said do you want to try them? We'll send you some and I was like that's very nice of you, like I was gonna buy them myself and so of course I said yes but I would have bought them anyway for a video so thank you so much to them for sending them for me, um, sending them to me but uh. By the way, if you're wondering, my eye makeup and the rest of my face makeup, besides my lip colour, is from my previous video where I did a full face of first impressions, and I deliberately didn't put on any eyeliner, one, because I thought my makeup looked okay without it, and two, because I knew that I was doing this video and it's a lot easier to see lashes and how they perform without eyeliner, so I would always normally put on mascara first, so that is what I thought I would go ahead and do. These are called the Double 110 Lashes. I then have the Double Demi Wispies, which are some of my favourite drugstore lashes anyway. These ones have kind of fallen off. And then the final ones that I have are called the Accents 001. So these are just like little half lashes, which I'm guessing you just put on your outer corners to emphasise your lashes. So I think I'm going to go for the Accent lashes first, like the little short ones that aren't... Um, like a full band because I have a feeling these might be the easiest to apply and then I'll like work my way up to like the big ones. So they just look like this in the packet, they're like stuck onto a little sticky thing. And the way that these work is you get an upper and an under piece for each eye. So you put this piece on top of your lashes and then this bit on the lower half, like underneath your lashes. And then they're supposed to like magnet together and stay on your lashes without any glue, which if these work, they are literally gonna change my life. So I'm really hoping that they do. Um, so I have a pair of tweezers which might help me apply them, I don't really know. I'm gonna try my best to apply these. The only thing that I'm gonna find difficult is keeping it on your lashes. Oh, okay, no, it stayed pretty easily. Putting the bottom half on, oh my god, oh my gosh, okay. So, let's see if this works. Wait, I want it to be as close to my lash line as possible. <gasps> oh, wait, it's not quite worked, because that one is... Wait, oh my gosh. Ah! It's stuck to my tweezers. Wait, let me just try and position these a little bit better. Oh, damn it. Don't use tweezers. They magnet to the tweezers. Okay, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. You need to try and get these as close to your lash, lash line as you can. Has that worked? It's actually kind of worked. Let me just do a close-up and I'll show you because it's kind of... At a funny angle. I really hope you can kind of see here. It has kind of worked, but you can see the magnet there. Like, I can't get it, I can't push it any closer to my lash line. Like, they kind of just go straight like this. Like, you can see the magnets underneath there. Um, and I want this bit to be pushed down more, but it's kind of difficult to move around. But, if you don't look too closely, you can't really tell. But then, I think if somebody was looking at you, they'd probably think it was a bit of dried lash glue or something, like... Ow! <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see this bit here. I'm kind of impressed that it's staying there though, like, I thought that the magnets weren't going to be strong enough and that they just fall off, but that actually looks kind of nice. I really wish I had some plastic tweezers or something, because it would be so much easier to use with tweezers, but they just stick to the tweezers. Oh! 
Okay, that one didn't go as close to my lash line. Let me just show you what I mean again. My phone just fell on the floor, but yeah, you can see on this one, like it's hasn't magnetized very close to my lash line, so you can really see the magnets. So I'm gonna try and like maneuver that, but from the top, that's what it looks like. You can see it's not quite as close as I need it to be. They have three little magnets, so like one, two, three, on the outer corner, the inner corner, and the middle. And then they just kind of like snap together. It's really quite cool. Okay, so let's move on to the 110s. However, the one downside to these is you can't exactly trim them. Um, so if they're too big for your eyes, oh my gosh, my mascara is crumbling all over my face. If they're too big for your eyes, you can't really do anything because if you were to trim them, you would cut off one of the magnets. And unless you cut it like up until the next magnet, you can't really trim like just the ends of it off if you get what I mean. Oh god, okay, this hasn't worked. This one is not working. Okay, that kind of worked again, but they are like half hanging off. It's so difficult to get them to like line up in the correct place. So looking from the front, they actually look pretty good. But then as soon as I go like this, you can see that the inner corner of them is not attached at all. And neither is the outer corner, like they're half hanging off, they're only attached like in the middle. It's just really frustrating because once part of it is magnetized, it's really hard to get the rest of it off and like reposition it. I think in order to apply these like properly, I think the problem I'm having is they're too big for my eyes. So they're just not like curving in the right... Okay, okay. Ah. Ah, it's like in my eye. These ones are definitely too big for my lashes, but it's just like not curving properly. They're just going in like straight lines. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. They're just so difficult to like actually get in place. If you were to have somebody helping you to like professionally apply these, then I think they would look really good. But like right now it's just those like inner and outer corners that are just not working. So let's take these ones off and then hopefully I will have better luck with the final pair, which are the Demi Wispies. I don't know if I've got these lined up wrong, but the ends are just not magnetizing together. They're attached, but they're just not very close to my lash line. That actually looks okay. It doesn't look too bad, but the thing that just really frustrates me is I just can't get the inner corners any closer in. Oh, okay, that kind of worked. It kind of worked. This is probably the most su successful one yet. Like, I don't know, it looks okay. But it's just that inner corner, like the pesky inner corner. Like, I always have an issue with my inner corners anyway, anyway but with this one, it's just like extreme. Um, that's what it looks like with my eye closed. This is the last lash that I'm going to try and hopefully this one will actually work. I'm gonna try and bend these a little bit, like just so they're a bit more curved. Okay, is it in my eyeball again? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so this eye is finally on. From a distance, they actually look okay. It just looks like my inner corner is peeling up a little bit. Um, this one actually looks fine, I think. Um, I definitely think with these lashes, you would need to practice and get them, like, get the art of putting them on down right. That I don't think that made any sense. This is probably about the best I can do. Um, they actually look okay, but because they are a little bit too big for them, I can feel them digging in my inner corner here. And also the inner corners aren't quite as like stuck on as I would like them to be. And I'd like to get them a little bit closer to my lash line. So I don't know. I think maybe if you had somebody else to help you apply them, it might be a little bit easier. Okay, so to summarize, um, are they easier than actual lashes? I don't think so. I think normal lashes are actually easier to apply even though the glue and like can take a while to dry and they do take quite a bit of practicing i still can't put lashes on perfectly um these ones were quite tricky but they are really fun and i think they would make a really fun christmas present for somebody um just like if you manage to play around with them and get them to stick on right then you would never need to use lash glue again and i think that if you did stick them on properly they would actually look really cool i mean they were definitely fun to play around with and um i will leave them a link down below if any of you guys want to get your hands on them so that is it from me i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know if there's anything else that you guys want me to test by leaving it in the comments down below um also if you aren't already subscribed to my channel i would love it so much if you would subscribe and i will see you guys out that like literally stabbed me as i blinked and i will see you guys in my next video bye